Oh my gosh. What in the heck do I have? Oh my gosh, what is this? Dude, if this is a bass, this is a giant. Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I wanna show bank anglers where you can fish on big lakes. I'm gonna show you six areas on big lakes that you can fish, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Before we get into the areas that bank anglers can fish on big lakes, there's two things you keep in mind no matter what when you're out there fishing. One is just be careful. Some of these lakes have big jagged rocks and things like that. I don't want you guys to get stranded or get hurt, so be careful. The other thing you wanna do is just always look out for signs that may say no fishing. Some of the areas that I'm telling you about, there may not be fishing access to them. I'm not telling you to go out and break rules or laws of your lake, so don't do those things but let's get into the areas right now. One of the best areas on any given lake that you can actually fish is a boat launch area. As a tournament bass fisherman, I've actually specifically targeted boat ramps at times to catch bass. There's a lot of things that make boat ramps really good for fishermen. One, you have a hard bottom at a boat ramp. A boat ramp is typically made out of concrete. That concrete is gonna have some algae that grows on it. There's certain zooplanktons and little bait fish that are gonna feed on that algae and that bait fish is gonna attract bigger bait fish and that's gonna attract bass. The other thing is, is that people are constantly taking their boats in and out at boat ramps and what that does is actually puts a lot of oxygen into the water especially if you're fishing during the heat of summer targeting areas that have a lot of oxygen in them can actually be what yields a lot of bass for you another thing to keep in mind there's a fish right there Boat ramps typically have riprap banks by them. Sometimes they also have seawalls by them. Those are great areas to target bass on any lake. The other thing that boat ramps provide is they typically have a lot of docks by them and docks provide shade. Shade can be one of the number one factors that holds bass, especially during the summer when water temperatures start to get really, really high. One little tip that I wanted you guys to keep in mind, right along the actual ramp, there's gonna be riprap that extends way out into the lake. Those rocks are gonna hold fish almost year round. So always keep in mind, that's a place that you can catch fish on a boat ramp. That at the very end of a boat ramp, there's typically a hole where all these pleasure boaters and bass boats, when they're power loading up onto their trailer, they're blowing out little holes at the bottom of these ramps. Those holes are typically harder bottom because they've blown all the silt and dust out and those can be also really great areas to catch bass on a boat ramp. Whoa! All right, guys, another great place to catch bass from the bank on big lakes is a marina. Anytime you have a marina, you're going to have a place where fish live literally year round. Marinas provide a ton of shade. They provide a ton of habitat. They provide a ton of oxygen, a ton of bait. Bass can be caught from spring all the way through winter in marinas. It's very easily accessible. There's parking lots close by. Now, again, you're going to want to make sure that you can actually fish in certain places by a marina, especially on the main docks themselves. Typically, they don't allow you to fish on those main docks. A lot of bigger marinas have some sort of jetty out in front of them, kind of protecting them from the waves and all the weather conditions. That can be a great place to catch bass. They can be found right on the point of it. They can be found sometimes on the inside edge of it. They can sometimes be found on the outside edge of that jetty. Now, one kind of sneaky place that I wanna to talk to you guys about when it comes to a marina, a lot of times you're gonna actually find these places where people can dock their boat off of the 
main docks. These big giant floats actually typically have a big cinder block at the bottom of them. And I've actually targeted these from a bass boat before. I can remember fishing Lake Champlain where I was actually catching giant smallmouth, literally just casting at these cinder blocks that were attached to these floats where these boats would park. And literally it was every single one. And a lot of times you can actually reach these areas from the bank. So cast out to those single boats that are kind of anchored up to those bigger floats. You're going to catch some big bass off of those. All right, guys, another great place to catch bass from the bank on big lakes is the dam. And a lot of you guys know about this. There's a lot of guys that like to spillway fish and you might spillway fish for saw guy or walleye or catfish or striped bass or whatever it may be. But the spillway is actually a great place to catch bass as well for all the same reasons. You have an area that has a tremendous amount of current, a tremendous amount of oxygen, a tremendous amount of bait fish, and there's going to be largemouth and smallmouth bass on these lakes. There has been some Bassmaster Elite Series 1 on big lakes where guys are actually targeting the spillways. So a spillway is a phenomenal place to catch bass, even though a lot of guys aren't always targeting bass in those areas. One of my favorite things to fish on the spillway side, you're going to have a lot of current coming down from the dam itself. Typically, you have a lot of rock behind and anywhere you have a little small rock jetty that kind of sticks out, you're going to have a current break. And a lot of times you're going to have bass that are active sitting on the front side of that current break. And you're going to have bass that are a little bit more inactive actually sitting on the back side of that current break in the eddy itself. That's an area that I always try to target when I'm fishing the spillway. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about is not just the spillway when it comes to the dam. On the face side of the dam is actually another phenomenal place to catch bass simply walking over the dam and onto the front side literally there can be bass found on dams throughout the entire year we just saw hank cherry win the Bassmaster classic in part because he was fishing the dam so don't forget if you come to the spillway and you're fishing on the spillway make the hike go over the dam fish on the other side and you can actually catch fish in both areas and there can be a lot of fish and you can catch not only bass but a ton of other species all right guys the next place that you can fish and this is probably one of my favorite places to fish as a bank angler on big lakes is a point points are literally one of the best pieces of structure best pieces of habitat for bass that there is on any given lake river no matter where you are fishing bass can be found on points throughout the entire year and a lot of times they're just going to be positioned on that point differently throughout the year one of the first things that i might do is actually look at a topographical map and try to find areas where the creek channel or where deeper water is kind of close to that point. Sometimes you're going to get to lakes that have points that are very flat and they're very shallow for a long ways out. Those aren't the points that I really like to target. I want some deep water access close by because if I can fish from the bank, that place where the point kind of goes from shallow to deep, that's money. That's the areas that I want to fish. That's where you're going to find a lot of bass. Since you're going to be on the bank, you're going to be fishing it from deep to shallow. One of the biggest things though that you really have to consider when it comes to fishing a point as a bank angler is accessibility and actually getting to the point that you want to fish. Now sometimes this might require you to hike through the woods a little bit or you could get lucky. This point that I'm at right now there's a disc golf course here and there's a perfect little trail for me to walk to. You just might want to get on Google Earth and just kind of see is there an area, is there a place that you can actually get to because this might be an area where not as many guys are going to be fishing from the bank, an area that you might find to yourself. Yet yeah, it may require you to do a little work. It may require you to hike through the woods or walk through the water to get to. But I'm telling you, if you can find some of these points that not as many guys are fishing, you're going to have them to yourselves. You're going to be able to catch more bass. Oh my gosh. What in the heck do I have? Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in. Oh my gosh, what is this? This, got, this cannot be a bass. Dude, if this is a bass, this is a giant. Guys, I don't think I have a bass, but whatever I have is not small. 
and it's on a drop shot so i just don't know what it could be i feel like it's going to make another big run here dude what is this that's a carp are you kidding me how do i catch a carp on a drop shot whoa this guy literally like ate the drop shot i have never in my life caught a carp on a drop shot have any of you guys caught a carp on a drop shot he ate the plastic come here buddy are you kidding me that fish literally ate the drop shot well guys i guess carps like points t all right guys, the fifth spot that you wanna fish as a bank angler on a big lake is a bridge. Bridges provide a tremendous amount of habitat, okay? But one of the biggest things that bridges do is they usually create a funnel. If bass wanna pass from one side of the lake to the other or any type of fish species, they have to go through that bridge. And because of that, you're taking a vast amount of fish and you're really congregating them in a small area. And because of that, bridges can be one of the best places you can fish as a bank angler because there's just a tremendous amount of fish there. Now, with the bridge, you also have shade that's created usually from the road overhead, and that shade is going to attract bait fish. So there's just a number of things why bass are typically at bridges. Even some of the biggest tournaments that there are, like the Bassmaster Classic, Randy Howell won it by fishing a bridge, literally an area that any bank fisherman could fish, and he caught like thousands of pounds of bass not thousands but he caught a ton of bass again with all these areas guys you need to be safe but i think it's also best to get here early as you can not only because the bass are going to be feeding but that way you can get there before the bulk of other bank anglers might get there all right guys the last but definitely not least place that you can fish as a bank angler is any type of riprap bank. Riprap banks hold bass year round, just like a number of the places that we have discussed today. The thing about riprap banks is typically when they are created, they have to bring in dump trucks full of that riprap material. So because of that, typically you can find some sort of path to a riprap bank. So you might just have to look on Google Earth to try to find that path. It may be overgrown with weeds, but typically you can get to riprap banks. You can parallel them perfectly from the bank itself and catch a lot of bass on riprap banks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment below if you have a question. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.